Hello everyone, this is Shane Gibson with RackN, and today we're going to do a quick demonstration of deploying digital rebar provision in five minutes or faster. A couple things about the demo. This is a small uh, portion of a slightly larger demo which uh, shows using Terraform to deploy a node in packet.net and preparing that with CentOS 7 in which case we'll then deploy digital rebar provision against, configure the digital rebar provision service with content, and then bring up n number of nodes that are then provisioned against the digital rebar provision service. And in the demo, we're going to do everything completely automated through uh, command line and through the DRP CLI tooling to configure and bring up the services. All of this presentation is available uh, for use by everybody in, in the general internet population on the GitHub Digital Rebar Provision uh, repo and under the examples 5min-drp uh, directory in the repo. Uh, we're also going to demonstrate the UI, which at the moment is not actually talking to anything. and will show a little bit about the new rack and UI that manages the digital rebar provision service. And for future reference, you can find more information on rebar uh, at rebar.digital is the web address and more information about rack and which sponsors this open source project at rackend.com. And last, we're going to do a little bit of work in packet.net. So we have the packet.net uh, UI up here and running right now as well. Kicking off the process, we have this uh, script called demo-run, which is the driver for installing uh, running Terraform to install CentOS 7, which we then uh, also inject SSH keys into packet.net's infrastructure. Uh, we set some packet.net API keys and project IDs appropriately to determine which infrastructure we're going to build all of this demo in. And then we install DRP locally, so we have uh, DRP CLI on my laptop to do remote provisioning and remote command and control of the DRP endpoint service itself. Then we actually deploy DRP remotely against the packet.net CentOS 7 provision node. And then we configure all of the content for that. And then we would launch an additional uh, set of nodes that provision against DRP provision. Now, the first parts and the last parts of the demo uh, we're not going to show today, um, but that'll be available in a larger demo video, which you can find on the YouTube channel where you found this one as well. And that larger video uh, will demonstrate the entire process from beginning to end. So we're going to kick off our demo.run script, and since we've already run a lot of these actions already to prop the environment, we're going to say no to them and uh, just not rerun these app, uh, actions. And so uh, we are going to get to here. We're going to set the uh, DRP uh, ID as a variable called DRP, which just gives us a little bit of helper for script. And uh, now we're going to do the actual DRP install. Uh, before we do that though, and before we kick off our timer, let's take a look at, uh, here's our node in packet. It's called 5min-drp-nrt1. It's deployed in the New Jersey data center. And if you take a look in the home directory here, we have no content. We're going to do a digital rebar provision install in uh, isolated mode, which means it installs into the home directory of whatever account we use. In this case, we're using the root account. And so all of the content and the service will be installed here. Before we actually kick it off, though, let's go ahead and start our timer. And this will uh, be the proof of our five minute claim that we can build up a DRP instance in five minutes. Uh, so right now, what we're doing is we're pushing remote content to the service. So as you can see here now, we're starting to see uh, some of our control scripts and our process uh, uh, DRP endpoint services will be installed here. It's the script is going through the process of verifying some of our requirements, making sure requirements are installed first, uh, and then we'll 
uh, actually install digital rebar provision. So now uh, we see the DR provision.zip has showed up, which is the uh, service itself. And uh, that process uh, takes only about two or three minutes uh, tops. Depending on your internet connection, uh, we do push some ISOs or pull some ISOs rather. Uh, in this demo, we're going to pull ISOs directly down to the PRP server, endpoint server itself. Uh, in the um, in some configurations, you can actually push from your laptop all of the content through your laptop is sort of a proxy service. We're also going to uh, take a look at, and we'll see here that we have the uh, DR provision service running. We're going to go ahead and kill it. And then we're going to rerun it uh, without detaching it. So, that, so we're going to run it in the foreground so that we can actually see uh, as we build up the server API calls hitting the, the digital rebar provision endpoint. And in a few First, we're going to stage content. Boom, content's been pulled down. Now we're actually making API calls against the digital rebar provision server, and we see there's a bunch of stuff uh, happening. Um, my scripts are very um, cautious about deleting content that may exist previously before I push the content I intend to push, so that's why we see some of the red deletes of content. Uh, right now, we're actually installing uh, ISO images, so we get a, a bit of a pause as the ISO images are being pulled down. And we can actually, while that's happening, uh, come over to our UI and uh, load our UI. And because we're running a self-signed cert, we need to uh, validate the cert, say yes, we want the cert. And then we're going to get a little bit of a bug here on a redirect, so we're going to go back to our machine, so there we go, hit the right machine, log into our machine, our digital rebar provision endpoint, and we'll see that we have some content here that's showing up, and we see there's some status of the configuration, which actually, it's already done. So the configuration is done, and at this point, our service has now been configured. In fact, we can stop a timer because we are completely done uh, with building this DRP end node. Uh, so what we've, we've accomplished is deploying digital rebar provision, which is here and running. We can actually do uh, log into our node again. And if we take a look, we see there's a whole bunch of more stuff that's shown up here, including DRP data, which is the directory where DRP content is pushed into, and uh, our DRP uh, data TFTP boot directory, which is where nodes would be provisioned off of. And so back at the UI, we can see that the uh, some of the environment has been configured uh, with this. We got a little refresh there with the uh, default stage the boot environment, uh, our content has been configured. So we can actually see that our content packs a digital rebar provision community content, the OS discovery content, the OS Linux, and the packet content have all pushed, configured, and set up. Uh, some other interesting notes were the global profile was set up with a stage map that allows us to do uh, provisioning transitions uh, and uh, advanced workflows with configuration. Uh, we push the packet IPMI uh, plugin, which is required for us to be able to operate within the packet environment. Uh, in the case of the packet network, we do not need to create subnets. Uh, subnet information isn't necessary for a digital rebar provision endpoint uh, because we dynamically add endpoints in as we hear from them. We don't know where they're going to come from, and that's part of the packet IPMI plugin. We don't have any machines that are available here yet. Um, but as soon as we boot a node, we will see a machine show up. So let's go ahead and uh, boot a single node. So we've just kicked a node over. And in a moment or three, we should see a machine show up in our inventory list. Um, although it takes a few minutes on the packet side for things to become ready. So if we drop 
jump back over here to the uh, packet portal. Uh, let's go ahead and reload this. We should see our node in the project that we're operating in as it loads the devices. And there we go. So there's the five minute nodes NRT01. And in fact, we can uh, load the specific URL for this. We're going to grab the uh, server's ID from Packet. And then uh, we can actually uh, SSH to the serial console of the node and watch. The, uh, ampersand out of the front of our command so we can actually do the command we're intending to do. And uh, so what we're going to do is SSH into the serial console session and we can actually watch the node as it's going through the provisioning cycle. Uh, Packet.net requires a couple of reboots in the node and you see that is in their status here. So we actually haven't taken over control of the node yet. Uh, digital rebar provision is still waiting for the node to become responsive to us after Packet does its thing to configure its hardware. And so now that it's phoned home, we should actually uh, start to see the node gets kicked over uh, and then it'll uh, pixie boot off of our service. And as soon as we get a, a kick over on this, we'll see that the host is actually uh, going to be being provisioned. And we can see in our digital rebar uh, rack in status we go to machines uh, it's not showing up there uh, I'll have to debug that but we are actually kicking it over here and you see that the service has um, finished the actual process of kicking it over and the command and control functions of it has kicked over and finished and you can see that the image one that image is being downloaded. And so we have now just uh, provisioned a single node and you can provision up to n number of them. With this uh, process, you can just set a variable to 100 if you wanted to pay for it, provisioning 100 nodes in packet.net. Uh, it's a simple parameter uh, and you'd be able to provision them. Uh, so that's it in a nutshell. Uh, it looked like we did all of everything we're accomplished, attending, attempting to accomplish in about three minutes. So in about three minutes, we were able to uh, take a, a ready operating system, uh, deploy DRP to it, uh, configure DRP, and get the content all set up and ready and, and available, and then we were able to kick a node over for provisioning. Uh, again, you can find all of this uh, on the digital rebar provision uh, GitHub repo under the examples 5min-drp location. So you can just clone that, uh, read the directions in the readme on cloning that, and go to town if you have a packet.net uh, account. Thank you very much. Talk to you guys again later.